The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Good morning, everyone. Here is a live look out of Martinsville, courtesy of our new College Institute Sky Cam, where temperatures are freezing. We're at 32 degrees out in Martinsville, so uh, we have reached the freezing point, and we're expected to see the freezing point be reached across the New River Valley in the Highlands this morning. That's why there's a freeze warning in place until 9 a.m. We do also have a frost advisory highlighted here in the counties in blue. This includes all of the Roanoke Valley, all of Lynchburg, all of Southside. The exception is Nelson County up there, also including Patrick County in this. That is also in place until 9 a.m. this morning. Temperatures across the board a little bit warmer than what we were expecting yesterday when we were forecasting for this morning. We thought temperatures might be in the upper 20s to lower 30s for the Roanoke Valley and out west and out north. Um, however, temperatures are a little bit warmer this morning thanks to an increase in cloud cover at the mid level. So we're partly cloudy. That's uh, acting as a blanket, trapping in a little bit of uh, warmth uh, through the overnight hours. Then we've also got winds that are also gusting anywhere from 5 to 15 miles per hour, so mixing some of that warmer air. So temperatures are a little bit warmer this morning, but don't get me wrong, it's still pretty cold out there. So as you head out the door, go ahead and grab that big coat. A lot of us are going to be in the mid to upper 30s uh, through about 9 a.m., then we'll be in the low to mid 40s uh, shortly after, and then we turn from partly cloudy to mostly sunny. Here's a look at today's wind speeds. Not going to be nearly as high as what we saw yesterday or the day prior or even on Monday. So winds are down a little bit, but still going to be noticeable throughout the day. We've got wind speeds sustained anywhere from 5 to 10 miles per hour and then gusting close to 15 at times for the Roanoke Valley, Lynchburg and Southside. And again, along the Blue Ridge, uh, winds are going to be anywhere from about 15 to maybe 25 miles per hour. Temperature is also going to be just a hair warmer for today. We've got high pressure, which is moving ever so slowly into the region. So just budging um, that low pressure area off Sure. So temperature is going to be right around 60 degrees or so. And we see that ridge right here. It is building in across parts of the Great Lakes. Uh, so really clear skies uh, near or above average temperatures are going to be building in. And we're still dealing with the trough that's over here. So that's going to be impacting us for today and even into parts of tomorrow. But once we head into the weekend, that big time area of high pressure starts to build in. And you notice mostly clear skies across the majority of the eastern seaboard. And then we've got a cutoff low on the other side of the country, bringing below average temperatures. So the setup for the next couple of days, we're going to be below average in terms of temperatures for today and tomorrow. Then once we get into the weekend, we're going to be warming up and it should be a pretty nice weekend to maybe go look at some of our fall foliage. Average peak foliage occurs right now through the end of the month. And here's a look at our current fall foliage already starting to see some low to high colors across the board, even seeing some peaks out in parts of the New River Valley in the Highlands. As for your 7 day forecast here in the Roanoke Valley, mostly sunny starting later this afternoon and then continuing throughout the next seven days.